Alright, so Jenny Wren by Paul McCartney. This is off Chaos and Creation in the Backyard, released in 2004. And uh, this is Paul's kind of sequel to Blackbird. Um, and there's a, a video here on YouTube that you can find, a couple of them actually, where he is explaining how he came up with it and how he wanted to revisit that uh, the Blackbird style of writing. Where you're playing those two note chords, right? So that's what this song kind of is all about. Um, and uh, it actually features an instrument called a dudek on it, an Armenian wind instrument. I never knew this. I looked it up on Wikipedia when I was researching the song. It's the first time that instrument has ever been recorded in pop music, which is kind of cool. There's always something cool about McCartney's stuff, right? Like, And this is a great example of his like amazing compositional like prowess, right? Um, anyways, let's get into it. There's a lot of stuff to cover. There's basically three sections and an outro, okay? And it's all based around that picking thing that he does, right? And I'll just use this chord to just demonstrate the picking style because without that picking style, you're just not going to get it, right? Okay, so let's just fret on uh, A, what is that? Six and B8 and I play that open G string, right? So the style is you're gonna pinch the A and the B string, and you're gonna kind of brush down and up with your first finger. I, I, I'd like to be able to hold that chord, but I, <laughs> I, can't, I gotta do it like this. We got pinch, down, up, bass, down, up again, right? That's kind of what, how he plays a ton of his stuff, uh, just that pattern, right? So you got to work on that before you work on anything else. Okay, so let's get into the chords. Uh, it's in the key of C. C major to start, and then it changes to C minor later, right? So what we've got in the very intro is this. We're going to pinch on the uh, A string and the E string. And then we're going to... We're going to pinch the G on E3 and the D note on B3. So we've got... And then we're going to hammer on uh, 1 to 3, C to D on the B string. Right? So. Okay, so without the little finger thing, it'll be like this. Right? Because you got the bass going. You got the first finger going. Two of those together. Right? But then you gotta add in a little flick of the finger. And it's really, really light, right? Okay, so that's the first bit. Then we're going to go hammer again. I'm going to change it to the G chord and we're going to pinch uh, E3 and that note, the C note on B, pull it off to the open. So, right? And it's that timing. A2 and then the F note here, getting ready to do this bar chord. Now, Paul does the thumb overs, but I'm no good at thumb overs, so I always try to get, you know, that straight bar chord in. So we've got... And then... So it's... Right? That, that rhythm there is tricky. With the thumb and the, and the little flick. Okay, real slow. And 
Now we're going to go back up. So just that's the B and the G string. That's without the flick, right? But with the flick. Stay on A minor for, for a couple of bars. Here. So that whole thing, real slow from the beginning. Okay, then it repeats. And that's where it gets interesting. That's where it changes from C major to C minor. So we're going to go. Um, that's really Blackbirdish, right? So we've got A2 and uh, B3. I use my little finger. So then slide that up, right? And whatever you do when you're playing this chord here, all you want to hear is that C note, the open G, and that E flat. Plus the third, the minor third of C, right? So we've gone from, you know, happy to thoughtful minor, right? So, and the bass alternates are, right? And we, we have to mute that D string there. We cannot play that open D. We can't go, right? We cannot have that in there. So you gotta mute that with, fleshy part of that first finger. And all you're playing, the open G, the B string, and that alternating. So and we're trying to just keep the flick on <laughs> it's it's tough this part, right? Keep the flick just on the G string. Okay, then the whole thing repeats. So that bit starts up here, and it's um, the 6th fret of the A, and B8, and open G, right? Everything here is those three strings. And then we're back to this C minor, right? So we got... And then we're going to do this where we're going to bar the B and the E string on the 1st fret and play the 4th for the, um, the D string, which is the F note. And then we're going to drop the bass. The bass descends like that, right? So we're... That's uh, D2 and G3. And then D1. Right? But we want to we want to bar the B and the E there for the flick, right? And then I'm going to bar that whole thing so we can strum, right? Okay, now we're going to go to a G7, which is just um, E3 and E1 up top, right? Make sure you mute that A string. Okay, we don't want that A string sounding. We just got like bum, 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 bum. right. Now we're gonna go really blackbirdish, right? 
So with that C minor chord that we already know, and then take it up two frets, and back up to here. Right? So, right? So that whole bit so far is. Now we're just going to slide that first finger up one fret and back to this, back to the G7, back to the C minor. And um, that part there, to get from there to there, that's probably the hardest part of the song because it's quick, right? So, and we just vamp on that C minor, and then you know, the second verse, and uh, it repeats a bunch of times. But those are the those are the basic parts for I guess you'd call that the verse and the chorus, right? Now there's another part which is the instrumental part, and um, at some point we. minor, right? And then we get into this. So all that is is C minor, and then we drop that down, so we're A1 and B3. So open G, right? And then A minor, we hammer on the C. Like what I do is when I hit the A minors, I alternate the bass. I think when Paul plays it, he just plays the A. So he would go more like. Just staying there, but I kind of like the sound of that alternating. Go to the F, right? And the C, right? Pinching the two C's, right? A3 and B1, and alternating the bass, right? <laughs> so those are all the parts, all right? Um, except for the ending. The ending uh, goes like this. So we're coming out of this C. What we're doing there is we're going up to A flat, major bar chord, right? And we're gonna just right, and then F chord. Right, so we got whoops. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna come back up, <laughs> and we kind of hit that open E right now. He is you know playing like that. So I guess playing the open E is, is already there, you know, like my hand is, I just can't do that. So I just go. Right. And we got, we got fours on the bass, right? Don't want to forget those. end on that sort of arpeggiated C chord with the thumb, right? The full C, right? Okay, so let's just go over this one time, and uh, I'll just cover, you know, all the parts won't be in sequence. I can't, I'm not going to play it for four minutes, but let's just go over it.
that's it. Awesome song, you know, like uh, like I said earlier, McCartney's compositional uh, depth and skills and just off the charts, right? The guy's unbelievable. Um, just to think that, you know, he's been writing music for like 45 years and all of a sudden he comes up with this out of nowhere, right? It's just amazing. Anyways, this is a really nice song. You don't even have to sing it. You can just play it and it sounds just beautiful, right? So um, I hope you get something out of this lesson. Um, it's that, right? That McCartney technique that'll be really tricky to get. Um, and I've, you know, I've got a lot of uh, like comments because um, I did Blackbird too, right? And a lot of, not a lot, but some people say, "Oh man, I'm not just can't spend the time to learn that technique," you know, because it does take a while um, because it's very subtle, right? Like you don't want to go. It's, that finger has got to be really... You know, it's really kind of in the background and very subtle, so that'll take some work. Anyways, like I said, I hope you enjoyed the lesson. I hope you enjoy playing this song, and uh, we'll talk to you next time.